What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to USPS Tuan, um, where I take you guys through my journey as a city carrier assistant for the United States Postal Service. So um, in the last video, I told you guys about, you know, how things were going at the job. I just got out of um, on-the-job training, and I've been training for the two-ton truck. And, you know, I got hit with a surprise that I was going to be also being used inside as a uh, clerk, you know, uh, sorting out the packages so I can we can get them ready for the semi trucks to come <clears throat> and you know, so you know being that I'm getting being that I was hired on as a CCA a city carrier assistant um, You know, it was kind of strange to me that I was going to be doing uh, Clerk work as well, you know, I didn't mind doing it But it seems like I wasn't really getting any routes or getting any time out on the road so I can you know learn the routes and all that so that I can pass the evaluation for the city carrier assistance. But anyway, so I, you know, I, I, like I told you guys in the last video, um, on Veterans Day, I did the uh, packages, which is Amazon Sunday, and I just found out today they put the schedule up. I'll be doing Amazon Sunday um, tomorrow. So uh, the day after that, I came in and I was supposed to be doing the two ton training. So I did half day two ton training, and for the other half of the day, I um, did the clerk work. So I didn't get to really drive the two ton that day, but today I came in, you know, they told me I was going to be, they actually let me go out on a route. So this is the first time this office has let me act, uh, actually go out on the route. Um, I've been out on one route by myself, but I had to go to another town because they needed help up the, um, up the road from me. And I went out there and helped them and I had my own route that day. And today they gave me, it wasn't a full route, but it was like a, a handoff, which is somebody who needs help if they have too much on their route for the day. And they don't think they'll be able to get it done in the amount of time allocated for that. But anyway, so they let me go out and do like um, a portion of the route, you know, so I went out there and did that. And I was supposed to come back and work back in the office today, which, you know, if you guys been watching the videos, you know, I'm, I, I'm not, you know, I, that's not what I'm trying to do. But, you know, like I said, I, I, I don't mind helping out, but I want to be out on the routes. I most definitely want to learn the routes because I need to learn the area because I don't know this area. I'm not from up here. So anyway, they actually, you know, when I was out on, uh, after I finished up my route, I was delivering some packages and I got right like around the corner from the post office to go do the clerk work. They called me um, and told me, the manager or the manager in training called me and told me that, you know, uh, the guy who was training me in the two tons, he actually had to go out and help somebody else on their route, I guess, you know, some a, a few of the routes were backed up. You have different routes in the post office that go, you know, serve, service different areas. So anyway, one of the routes was extremely backed up and they had to send him out to go help. So they actually called me and let me go do the collections, which is what I was training for in the two ton. I had never done it by myself. I've only driven the vehicle one time, you know, as I said prior, I've only driven it one time to do a few of the pickups, but you know, today I got to actually go out there and do it on my own. So they did give me some uh, actual CCA work. So um, I didn't have to go back into the office, which, you know, which is what I like. You know, I like to be out there on the road, you know, just in my own zone in my, you know, you know, just out there, you know, I'm not trying to really just be in the office all day hooped up. You know, I want to be on the road mixing and mingling with people like that. But anyway, so they let me go do the uh, collections today, you know, which you know, I enjoyed. I'd rather drive the two ton than, you know, really the LLVs, you know, I, but I do need to get the LLV training. I need to be out there actually pitching mail because that's what a city carrier does, you know, so I need to learn that most definitely. But, you know, I do like the two ton and I, they did let me get out there and do that today. So hopefully, you know, things will change up. You know, I just wanted to drop a quick video and let you guys know how it's going, you know, because earlier today, you know, I wasn't really feeling it going in and doing the uh, clerk work, but, you know, they, like I said, they actually let me go do the uh, actual CCA work, doing the pickups and the collection. So I learned that route. That route was pretty easy to learn. Like um, the guy who was in there before me, he's another CCA, and he had been there for about he's he's been here for about two and a half months or so. And he got a list when he was in training. So they put a list up there with the street, so you can just Google the list on your phone and like basically it's like not addresses, but he put landmarks and locations that you need to look for and you basically find the boxes because we like I said we had been out there a couple of times so I did do the collections with him we had been out there a couple of times so you know I can kind of remember the area you know so you remember the area that few times it's better for me when I'm driving I'm a hands-on learner so it's better for me when I'm driving but you know today when I went out there all I had I, I did have to call him like two times to find out 
where a few locations were because I didn't quite, you know, remember exactly where the coordinates of those uh, boxes were. But, you know, you just have to get out there. You, you go pick up the things. You have to make sure you scan the blue boxes and you have to pick it up at a certain time. So, you know, that's driving the Tucson and that's just the life of a, a CCA. Like, you know, you never know what it's going to be. Um, it switches up from day to day. Uh, somebody else wrote in the comments earlier that, you know, that's, that, that's the same thing she had experienced, you know, like they hire you for one thing and then uh, change your job description, you know, in an in instance. So, you know, you just have to be prepared for that. And, and like I said, I'm in the first 90 days, like I'm just now starting off. I just got out of on the job training. So this is my first 90 days and you're on a probationary period for the first 90 days. So you, you know, you have to basically, if you, you know, want to work in, you know, some people it's not going to be for them, you know, but if you do want to work here, you might have to go through a few bumps and bruises, you know, a little haze phase before you um, can, you know, you start getting the actual rats and getting the respect, you know, so anyway, that's, that's all it is today. I'm going to keep the video short. I'm actually watching these games, my team out here losing. So, you know, I decided I'd cut a little video clear my mind real quick <laughs> but anyway i appreciate y'all watching y'all take it easy man i hope y'all enjoy the videos if you have any questions make sure you drop them in the comments um make sure you hit the like and subscribe button i appreciate y'all watching